If you have phone number links on your website, you probably want to track when visitors click them. In this video, I will explain how to do this with Google Analytics 4 and Google Tag Manager. Here I have a demo page and one of these links is related to phone calls. So if I click this on a desktop, it will suggest that I should pick some app that will initiate the call. I don't know, maybe it could be Skype or something else. And if I clicked this link on my mobile device, then it would open my phone app. So now let's take a look how can we track clicks on this particular link with Google Tag Manager and send that data to Google Analytics for. So first of all, you can do the right click on that phone number, click inspect. And if it is a valid phone number, those links will start with tell and then colon. So basically, if a visitor clicks a link and that link starts with this, we could treat this as a phone link click. So let's go to Google Tag Manager, Triggers, and click New. By the way, in this tutorial, I presume that you have already installed Google Tag Manager on a website and that you have installed Google Analytics 4 with it. If you haven't done that yet, then take a look at the description of this video where I will include tutorials on how to do that. So anyway, let's click New in the Triggers of Google Tag Manager and then click Trigger Configuration. Then select Just Links and we want to track only some link clicks. So click here and then select click URL. If you don't see the click URL option right here, you need to click choose built-in variable and then select click URL. Then I will enter starts with and this. Then let's name this trigger. So I will do it like that and then click save. Now let's go to tags and send an event when this trigger is activated. So go to tags. Since I have already installed Google Analytics 4 in this Google Tag Manager container, I have this configuration tag. You also must have this in your container. If not, then take a look at the description of this video where I explain how to install Google Analytics 4 with GTM. So here I will click new, then tag configuration, and let's select GA4 event. In the configuration tag field, select GA4 config tag, and then here we have to enter some event name. You can enter here any name you want. Just make sure that you follow the naming convention of GA4, which means that all event names should be lowercase and spaces should be replaced with underscore, something like that. Phone, link, click. Then together with this event, we can send some additional information. For example, what link was clicked or what was the text of the link? Because maybe that link was not just some phone number. Maybe it had some text as well. So to do that, we can send two additional parameters. One is link URL and the other one is link text. Google Analytics is capable of recognizing these parameters. And then we have to send the values. Google Tag Manager can extract the URL of the link that was clicked. And this is possible with the variable, which is called click URL. So click this button right here and then select click URL. If you don't see that variable here, then go to built-ins and then add that variable. We will do something similar with link text. In Google Tag Manager, there is a variable called click text. So click this button and then choose click text. Then scroll down and click anywhere in the triggering section and then select this link click trigger. Finally, let's name this tag. I will do it like this and then let's click save. After you do this, let's test if this is working properly. So click preview. This will open a preview mode in a new tab. And here you need to enter the URL of the page where you want to test those phone link clicks. Click connect. Here I see that the tag assistant is connected. And now let's click the link. I did it. Then I will click cancel. And let's just for testing purposes, click several other links that are not phone link clicks because we want to test if the tag fires only when the link is related to a phone number. So I will click here, here, and then I will go back to Tag Assistant. Here I will see a bunch of link clicks. Even though I clicked three links in total, I see six links right here. This is happening because Google Analytics for enhanced measurement is also making link clicks visible in the preview mode. However, don't panic because on most of these link clicks, our tag did not fire. Our G for event tag will fire only on the link click that matches trigger conditions and if that link click was spotted by Google Tag Manager. So if I click this event, I will see that my tag fired and on all other 
events, my tag did not fire because those links were either not phone link clicks or that particular link click came not from Google Tag Manager. So in this case, my tag fired once and that is the result that I expected. Now let's test if this is working properly. So go to Google Analytics 4, then admin, and then keep looking for debug view. And here in the feed, you will see that one of the events that you tracked is phone link click. If you click the event, you will see a bunch of parameters and two of them are link text and link URL. So technically this is working fine. And now you would need to click submit in Google Tag Manager, complete all the steps, and then these changes would go live to your website visitors. Meaning that if any visitor clicks a phone link, then Google Analytics 4 will track that. But now you might be wondering, how can you find that data about the phone link click in Google Analytics 4 reports? So the first thing that you need to keep in mind is that Google Analytics 4 requires more time to process the data. This means that you will need to wait at least for 24 hours until you start seeing those events in the reports. So one of the places where you can find that event data is the reports section, and then keep looking for the report that says something about events. In your case, the sidebar might look different. I mean, the choices might be different. So just keep expanding until you find something that is related to events. Here I found that report and I click it. So in this list, after at least 24 hours, you should start seeing your phone link click event as well. I don't see it because 24 hours still have not passed yet. Also keep in mind that maybe you have more events. So if you don't see your data in the first page, you can go to the next page and if needed, go to yet another page. But eventually you should see that event. And if you click it, you can find some information about the event. But for example, it will be problematic for you to find the data about link text and link URL. So if you want to see that information, because maybe you have multiple phone numbers that can be clicked on a site, then you would need to build a custom report to find that information. One of the ways how you can do that is to go to explore, then click blank, and then add two dimensions. So click plus here. And the first dimension is event name, while the other dimension is let's say link URL. If you want to include in the report link text, you can also find that in the list and click import. Then in the metrics, click plus and add some metrics that you find useful for your analysis. In my case, I will go with event count and total users. Click import. Now double click on the link URL to add it to the report and then double click on these metrics. Right now, the report is showing not only values of the phone link clicks, but actually it shows the values of all events that tracked some data about the link click. But we want to narrow down and we want to show the data only of the phone link click event that we sent with Google Tag Manager. That's why we have to scroll down and add a filter. Click here and select event name. Then in this filter, select exactly matches and then enter the name of the event exactly like this. Or if you're using some other event name, then enter that event name. In my case, I will do this and then click apply. In my case, the report will be empty because 24 hours still have not passed. But if I check this report tomorrow, I would have a report where the first column is the link URL. So it will contain all the phone numbers that were clicked. And then the other two columns would include the event count and total users. And that's how you can track phone number link clicks with Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.